Hey friends, greetings again. I uh, want a quick word for you uh, here on Tuesday morning. Uh, just one, just about Sunday. Sunday was certainly an awesome day. We had uh, well over a thousand plus engagements, not counting everybody that just saw it come across, but the, and then 800 and something views for Sunday morning. So praise the Lord that uh, so many people are tuning in and catching our services, whether it's live or, or after the fact. I want to give a special shout out and praise the Lord to our, to our production people, uh, my son Joseph, Daryl Lott, uh, the Averitts in the sound booth, uh, and obviously all those folks who are helping out behind the scenes like Stephanie Arms and our, our praise team. Great job this week by Crystal from our Spring Campus. So I think she'll be back with us this Sunday leading worship too with our, with our band. So you don't want to miss Sunday. I don't know how many more Sundays we're really evaluating. at had a meeting with our elders this week as we reevaluated uh, where we're at. Uh, when we can get back in and start worshiping, obviously, we're listening to our governor as he gives instructions. He's already talked about safe distancing as churches meet. Uh, we, we're looking at targeting around May, that first Sunday in May, as far as coming back together. And when we do that, we'll be practicing safe distancing. We're going to especially ask those who probably have probably been essential workers in different places, who've been out in the public, to wear a mask. Not so they won't get something, but so that if they did pick up something, they won't be sharing it. And then obviously talk about the obvious that we don't want anybody that's sick uh, something it's somebody that's symptomatic coming in being part of the services you watch it at home and continue to take care of your health and take care of yourself but uh, we are excited about the, the opportunities and the potential of coming back together and worshiping together i think it's going to be better than it's ever been i don't know about you but i've certainly been missing you know all the time together and all the time of fellowship in our services and being able to worship and sing and praise the lord together I am missing that tremendously, as I know many of you are as well. I do want to applaud you for the way you've been continuing to reach out and touch your, your neighbors and minister to the people around you. Touch them, not since in a physical way, but to reach out, call them, care for them, pray for them. And uh, I want to really encourage you to continue to do that. It's important that we let people know the church loves people. We care about people. We love God. And we're still out to reach our world that's around us as well as globally. So we're continuing with our ministries. Uh, continue to follow us on our prayer line and uh, uh, praying for folks that come through. We're always posting those prayer requests on our prayer walls at both campuses. So you know, if you, anytime you want to feel, uh, feel free to go by. The worship centers are big and broad. You can go by there and spend a little time in prayer, praying for the needs that are on the wall as well. Most of you get those needs through our, through our prayer line. If you're a part of our prayer at BF Church email list, that's prayer at bfchurch.com. Uh, you can request to be put on that list, and those prayer requests will come to you as well. So we've had a lot of prayers come, requests coming this week. Let's continue to pray for them as well. As I said just a moment ago, we have been meeting with the elders. We had a Zoom call this week, and we're all seriously seeking the Lord about the next steps. This next Monday, we'll be having a, a serious meeting with all the staff on regarding the reentry process, how that's going to look for us, and what we're going to do with the different ministries from children's ministries to to children's church, to lift groups. So we'll be discussing all those things as well. I can't applaud you enough for your faithfulness in your giving. Yes, we've been experiencing a, a minor downturn in our giving due to the physical situation we're in. But many of you have started bringing by your tithes and your offerings to the church, dropping them off in the, in the, in the offering receptacles that are at the entry doors to the offices. Others of you have learned how to use PayPal. Uh, listen, that's been a tremendous blessing for us. We've been using uh, online giving for quite some time. Some of you have already learned how to set up recurring gifts uh, electronically. Uh, that's also a, a good thing for you to do as well, just to keep in the discipline. Many of you have gotten checks uh, that you uh, probably, some of you really didn't need that bad. I would encourage you to give off those checks. Find the needs that are around you. Uh, you can, we're continuing to do benevolence with our church, helping people that are out of work, that need groceries. So, you know, uh, first thing I did, I had Kathy do, she called me the other day and said, listen, our, our we had $2,400 coming in the mail from the government. I said, let's immediately give off that. And that's the first thing we did. And quite interestingly, within 30 minutes of me telling her to do that, uh, somebody walked in and gave me a personal gift uh, of $100. Now, I've preached often that you given it shall be given unto you. But that's, that's just a practical way uh, that, that became real obvious and evident. And I think we need to share those things but with others that when we, we that God answers and his word and he keeps his promise to us. He says he'll cause men to give into our bosom. So praise the Lord. We're going to continue to give. I encourage you to continue to give. 
Haven't got a lot of news for you, so I'm just going to keep it real short and let you know that Pastor Joe and Kathy, we miss you. We love you. Our staff is missing you. We are always praying for you. God bless you. Thanks for taking this minute to listen to me today.